Why the Lakers are a totally different team this season. Shocking changes. Hey guys, this is Guilherme from the channel, and today I brought you a subject that will make you rethink everything about the Lakers. The changes that are happening to this team are breathtaking. This season has everything to be a game changer, and you won't want to miss a single detail. What are the secrets behind this transformation? Get ready to find out how the Lakers are preparing to surprise and fight for the title like never before. And let's get to today's news, but first just make sure you're already subscribed to the channel, because the next videos will be a series of content that will help you stay informed about everything related to the Lakers. Turn on the notification bell and select the All option. After that, we'll send you everything breaking that comes out behind the scenes of the Lakers. Lakers fans, we have a goal of 90 likes to hit on this video. In the last video, we hit the goal in less than an hour. Prove that you are Lakers fans and leave a like so we can hit this goal soon. Hello everyone, I hope you are all well. Today I want to talk a little bit about what is happening with the Lakers and how the atmosphere around the team is changing. I am curious to know what you think about this so leave your opinions in the comments below. It is amazing to see how the vibe of the team has changed. Have you noticed this? Even Jovan Buha commented that the feeling you have now is very different from what we saw in recent years, especially compared to the 2020 season. It is as if you are watching all these training videos and come across images that transmit a new energy. The interviews are also different. The conversation flows in a more positive and lively way. And let's face it, the atmosphere is palpable. The way players talk about new coach J.J. Redick is a clear reflection of this change. You can feel this new vibe when you listen to the reports. The contrast with Darvin Ham is striking. Many have criticized Ham, but now we see a new, more optimistic perspective. It's not just about praising J.J. Redick for what he's done as a player, but for the impact he's having as a coach. When you hear players like D'Angelo Russell express that they've never had a coach who truly cares and builds a relationship with them, it speaks volumes about the new culture that's being established. That's what really excites me. The words used to describe Redick are specific and meaningful. It's not just, oh, he's a good coach. It's deeper. He's detail-oriented, he's always prepared, and he's changing the culture of the team. The attention to detail has been a talking point in nearly every interview. Players and media alike agree that the culture is truly changing. Everyone who talks about it, both inside and outside the organization, says, no, it looks and sounds different. That unanimous opinion only reinforces the idea that the Lakers are becoming something very special. The offensive dynamic that seems to be changing under J.J. Redick's leadership is incredible to see the actual ball movement and how the team is adjusting. The truth is, J.J. has done more in one month than we've seen in the entire time Darvin Ham has been at the helm. Now, of course, these adjustments need to translate into success on the NBA court, but the change is already noticeable. One of the things that really impresses me is how Redick immediately identified the issues this team was facing. Many of these issues, which I and many of you have been talking about throughout the season, are very clear. If we can see these issues, how come we weren't seeing them before? Some of the solutions were simple and obvious, something that an NBA caliber coach should recognize. It's as if he was saying, look, when this player is in a certain position, he's more effective. So why aren't we taking full advantage of that? It's really surprising to see how underutilized certain players were under Ham. And what's even more interesting is how the atmosphere during training camp has changed. J.J. Redick communicates with the media in a very direct and honest manner. For example, when they talk about Dalton Connect, who has struggled, Reddick doesn't hesitate to point it out, but he also gives context to the situation. He mentions that Connect was working hard in a tough practice, and that as a rookie, he is learning to improve his conditioning and positioning skills. This direct approach brings clarity to the situation, and that is invaluable. It is also important to remember that the impact of each player, even those who are not superstars, is crucial to the success of the team. It is not just about who is the next to shine, but how each player can contribute to the whole. The way players like Rui Hachimura fit in and impact their teammates, like Winnie, can make all the difference. That's the difference I'm noticing in Darvin Ham's approach compared to the new direction under J.J. Redick. It's interesting to note how Ham initially seemed to have a very political approach to communicating with the media. He was skilled, sure, 
but he often came across as if he was trying to sidestep questions like he was always on the defensive. There was this sense that he was always avoiding certain topics. Now, when I look at J.J. Reddick, it's a completely different feeling. He brings an honesty that really resonates. It's like he's more willing to face things head on without beating around the bush. The way he communicates with the players and the media is refreshing, and you can feel that he's really invested in building a strong culture on the team. One of the things that impresses me the most is the focus that Reddick is putting on the players' fitness. He's not just talking about it, he's doing it. It's amazing to hear Rui Hachimura talk about how challenging training has been for him, saying he's never run so much before. It shows that the team is really putting in the work to prepare themselves physically and mentally for the season. And it doesn't stop there. They're using tracking equipment to monitor the player's performance, which is something we haven't seen before. I remember hearing about Bronny James running about six miles and Jaden Shino running about five and a half miles. Those are impressive numbers, and it shows that the team is really putting in the work. One of the criticisms Ham has faced has been his lack of attention to detail and lack of tactical adjustments. With Reddick, the narrative is different. He and his team are constantly striving for excellence. As he says, it's not just about him. It's about the entire team. There's a real passion for improvement, and it's contagious. Everyone is committed to becoming the best version of themselves, and it shows in the intense training they're putting in. I want to talk about the transformation that's happening at the Lakers and how it compares to teams like the Miami Heat. Have you ever noticed how Miami is often praised for their work culture and the seriousness they take about fitness? It's impressive. They have rigorous testing, and if a player doesn't meet the fitness or body fat standards, they don't even get on the court. I remember when Kyle Lowry first came to Miami, he had to work really hard to meet the requirements. It's not just about playing well, it's about being fit and ready to compete. And now, the Lakers are trying to establish a similar culture. They want to become a team that values personal development, organization, and attention to detail. That's a significant step forward, and you can feel that things are changing for the better. Of course, that positive vibe needs to translate into success on the court. We're in the early stages of this transformation, and so far it looks promising. Reading the reports, watching the interviews, and watching the videos, it's clear that everyone is excited and engaged. It's a new different feeling. The coaching staff is focused, well-organized, and attention to detail is a priority. This is a stark contrast to what we saw the last two years with Darvin Ham, where interviews often resulted in generic answers, almost as a default. Now we have an environment where the players are open about what they're working on. They're not shying away. They're dedicating themselves to conditioning, tactical understanding, and collective growth, the confidence I'm feeling in the Lakers. Seriously, I truly believe this team can shine. Of course, that doesn't mean I think we're ready for perfection. I still see some trades and roster adjustments needed. But honestly, I see incredible potential here. I've made a video about how I believe the Lakers can be one of the best teams in the league, maybe even a top three to five seed. Looking at the competition, like Minnesota with Julius Randle and other teams that are trying to step up, I see room for us to grow. Teams like the Oklahoma City Thunder can still outperform us, but I wouldn't be surprised if we're among the best offenses in the league. Yes, I still have some concerns, especially about defense and bench scoring. But you know what makes me optimistic? My confidence in the coaching staff. I believe they're capable of making the necessary adjustments and finding solutions to our struggles. With training camp and preseason games approaching, we're making real strides compared to what we've seen in years past. Let's talk about something that's been on my mind the Lakers' culture, and what we want for the future. Of course, right now, we're all focused on winning. We want NBA championships right now, and we don't want to waste the talent of LeBron and Anthony Davis. But at the same time, we have to think beyond that. We don't want the LeBron era to be just a passing moment. We want to build something that lasts. When I think of the Lakers, I imagine a culture that lasts for 20 years, something that transcends the stars that are on the court. The Lakers' culture needs to be on par with the culture of other great teams, like the Miami Heat, but at an even higher level. We are the Lakers, and that should mean having the best coaches, the best tactics, and the best technology available. And the good news is that I'm already seeing it happen. It's exciting! Of course, we still have to see all of this translate on the court. I'm not saying that everything is perfect or that we're champions yet. I'm willing to be patient and wait for the results, but the excitement is real. And I want to hear from you. How do you feel about all of this? Do you think we're seeing real progress? 
This team feels different, fresher, don't you think? I'm setting up a space for us to talk about this. I love hearing your thoughts and discussing the ideas that you have, so please let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Are you as excited as I am, or do you think this is just training camp and we should be cautious? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. This helps a lot, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching this far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continue receiving the next content, access our playlist now that will appear on the screen, or in the pinned comment with all the news and breaking news about the Lakers, and stay up to date with the behind the scenes, highlights, last minute controversies, transfers, everything about the Los Angeles Lakers team, until the next video.